everything you need to know about the Part 2 exam of the CME certification will be discussed in this video. If you haven't taken the Part 1 exam and you're also interested about it, I've got everything covered in this video. Check the link in the description box below. The CMA exam consists of two parts and each part focuses on different set of topics. Just to provide an overview, I'm gonna cover the following. First, I'm gonna discuss about the key changes which became effective in January 2020. So this relates to the revised title of the exam, the added content and the deleted content. Next, the syllabus of the part 2 exam. Third is a testing window. Fourth is the exam format. Fifth is exam duration. Sixth is exam cost. And lastly, the bonus tips. I've also covered the same bonus tips in part 1 video. First is the key changes to the exam. So the IMA implemented changes to help ensure that the exam remains relevant to the changing skill set required of accounting and finance professionals. The new title of the Part 2 exam is now Strategic Financial Management. Part 2 of the exam was revised to include greater emphasis on ethics and strategic decision making. The new content added include business ethics, sustainability, and social responsibility. The IMA deleted the off-balance sheet financing bankruptcy, and tax implications of transfer pricing. Next is the syllabus of the Part 2 exam, Strategic Financial Management. Similar to Part 1, the Part 2 exam is also divided into six sections. Financial Statement Analysis and Corporate Finance each makes 20% of the exam content. Next, Decision Analysis makes 25% of the exam content. Risk Management and Investment Decisions each makes 10% of the exam content. Lastly, Professional Ethics makes 15% of the exam content. Now let's talk about the testing windows. So the first testing window is January and February, then May and June, lastly September and October. So for instance, you can select your testing date on any day in the months of January and February. In addition, you may take both parts in one testing window. For instance, you take part 1 in January and you take part 2 in February. Now let's talk about the exam format. Similar to part 1, the part 2 exam is also computer-based. And this is for both the MCQ and the essay section. So in the CMA exam, you will encounter two types of questions. The first type is multiple choice questions and similar to part 1, there are 100 of them. And the second type of question is the essay question and you will encounter two of them in part 2. Now, please note that you must be able to answer at least 50% of the MCQ correctly to be able to move on to the essay section. So if you have scored at least 50% of the MCQs, the exam will present the essays to you after you've answered all the MCQs or after the hours have passed, whichever comes first. Just a reminder, once you leave the MCQ section of the exam or when you're already in the essay section, you can no longer go back to the MCQ. Hence, you must remain in the essay section. For the essay section, there are usually two scenarios. The two essay questions are independent scenarios describing a typical business situation. So basically, there are two separate cases in the essay section. Each case or scenario will have four to five questions, which means that there are eight to ten questions for the essay section. Your answers to the essay questions may be in the form of a written response, like a discussion, or in the form of a calculation. Stay till the end because I'm going to give you some bonus tips on how to answer the MCQs and the essay section. Now let's talk about the exam duration. So you have 3 hours to complete the 100 MCQs and only 1 hour to complete the essay section. As previously mentioned, you cannot proceed to the essay section unless you score at least 50% of the MCQs. Similar to Part 1, the Part 2 exam takes about 4 hours in total. Now let's talk about the exam cost. The exam fee is different for professionals and students. 
for professionals, you have to pay 415 US dollars. On the other hand, for students, you only have to pay 311 US dollars. However, please note that before you're able to register, you have to pay first for the IMA membership and the CMA entrance fee. If you want to know about the IMA fees as well as the CMA cost in total, including Part 1 and Part 2 exams, check out this video. I will also link this video in the description box below. As promised, I'm going to talk about the bonus tips which I've also talked about in the Part 1 video. First, I'm going to give you some bonus tips for the MCQs. So for the MCQs, prepare yourself as you will encounter tricky questions. So for this part, I'm going to share some tips and hacks to help you ace and pass the MCQs and essay section of the exam. First tip for the MCQs, perform the elimination method. Eliminating options is the best hack most especially if you're not sure about the correct answer. This is actually the best method, especially when making a smart guess. You just need to qualify each option and immediately eliminate those options which are obviously wrong or those which are far from the correct answer. In other words, reduce the number of options by eliminating the ones which seem to be entirely out of chance. It helps you to narrow the question to at least 3 or 2 options. Hence, it increases the likelihood of getting the correct answer. Second, for questions with all of the above option. So for this one, first you need to analyze each option. If you are able to verify 2 options and then all of the above is also a choice, then there is a high chance that all of the above is the correct answer. Third tip relates to negative questions. So you may encounter questions wherein the correct answer is the exception among all the options provided. So this is the case for multiple choice questions with words like not, exact, false, and least. Again, the correct answer here is the outlier or the exception among all the options. My last tip relates to questions which require one or more correct answers from the options provided. So for this type of question, you need to analyze each option in order to determine the correct combination of correct answers. Now I'm going to give the bonus tips for the essay section. As previously mentioned, answers to the essay section can be in a form of a discussion or a calculation. So for the essay section, first you need to read all questions carefully. You need to understand all the requirements and determine what is being asked. Second, do not leave questions unanswered. Always try to make an intelligent guess. You can get partial points. Third, make your answers clear, organized, and straight to the point. And lastly, use standard and formal English. And also, never forget to proofread your answers. For the computational questions, First, you need to show the correct formula for your answer. You can receive points for using the correct formula even if you made a mathematical error. Moreover, for a series of calculations, ensure to present all calculations to arrive at the correct answer. Otherwise, you won't get the complete points even if you've arrived at the correct answer. And that ends my bonus tips. I hope you don't forget about them and ensure to apply them, especially on the day of the exam. Check out my succeeding videos for more information about the CMA certification. If you like this video, hit like, share, and subscribe. Till next time.